Hello everybody, this is Avery, and today we're going to be looking at checksum. Um, basically, checksum is a way to verify if a file that you have is the original file. Um, it's a pretty plain way of looking at it, but there's a lot of programs online that you can go ahead and download. Um, this might be more of a case so if you're on Windows, um, where you might be just Googling something or just searching for it somewhere, and you go ahead and download it, and it turns out that the program that you downloaded has some sort of virus isn't actually the software or maybe even the version that you had intended. So we're going to give an example. We're here on the release page for Jammy. Um, that's a Ubuntu version. And we're going to go ahead and download the image for it. Um, this might take a minute. Um, so we're just going to start that off with the download. We're doing the server image. And basically after that's downloaded, we'll go ahead and take a look at it. But here on the Linux from scratch book, we have a lot of packages that need to be installed and downloaded to follow along with the book and I actually went ahead and I had them all downloaded because I'm kind of playing around with this and you can see we have all of these tar balls for every single one of these so how do we want to make sure that what we downloaded is the correct tar ball um, and for doing that we're going to be doing using a checksum a checksum is an algorithm that takes in a file and or a tar um, an, an archive or something like that, usually not a directory but a file, and it'll run it against a cipher, it'll encrypt it uh, or using a cipher, and then it follows an algorithm to move it around. Um, so that way, if the file has ever been changed and you run it against it again, it'll have a different checksum output. We can have an example, we'll just say, we'll echo hello to a test file. So if we print that out, that's our test. Um, there's different ciphers and algorithms for creating this. We're using MD5SUM. And let me blow this up a little bit. So clear. MD5SUM, and we'll run that against our test file. As you can see, here is the checksum, the MD5SUM, for this test. We can, there's other sums you can run against it. And they have different ciphers and different algorithms. Um, on your computer, it should have a lot of these installed already. Um, the SHAs, the larger the number it is, the larger this checksum basically is going to be, which is could be more secure. I mean, it might be better for larger files. Um, it creates a, a larger checksum. And now let's go ahead and go in here and output another line into it that says hello and now it's just compared to this md5 sum and it ends we can see the 5505 we can see not just that but the whole entire line as a whole is different if we were to go ahead and rewrite the file and then go and check it again we can see it goes back to the original and this could be said for all of these so right there make it a big again and then SHA1 sum test and we can see that this is different than this one so there's multiple algorithms you can provide it again so when you go and download something uh, when you have it downloaded usually they'll have a sum for you to compare it against on here on the Linux from scratch book they have a lot of sums so we can go ahead and actually just check something. We have the VI or VIM. So we'll just do Linux from scratch provides the MD5 algorithm sum. So we'll just do that and make sure against the tarball. And there is this. So let's actually go ahead and just search for that on this page. MD5 VIM. So that's a way to know that not only we downloaded it from here, but our download is the exact same version of the one that they provided and you can go ahead and do that with any of these basically md5 and that was for kbd and there that's the kbd if you were to go ahead and change something and then redistribute this package online under the same version name someone were able to use the checksum and be able to figure out not by looking through the files, not by using diff, but just the checksum. It's a pretty simple way to know that your file has changed. 
Okay, so now we have this downloaded for Ubuntu. So let's go ahead and check that out. Um, Ubuntu, they provide, this is a SHA-256. So we'll do SHA-256 sum, and I believe it'll be under downloads. Let's check the exact name. Okay. And this might take a moment. It is, you know, it's almost two gigabytes. Um, but it should generate, we have the live server. It should generate this right here. So we'll be able to compare that. So 5e338, yep, and the end is 3931. Of course, you want to compare the whole thing, but as we can see, they are an exact match. So that's a pretty good way to be able to share it. Because um, you might find a web page that looks like another web page that has some virus software. Of course, they along could have their own checksums to trick you. But that's just a simple way that I thought was interesting. Um, a cool thing if you ever package your software that you want to distribute it. It's a very simple way for you to help people know that they have your software. Um, so you might as well just go ahead and do it. Um, thanks for watching this video. In the future... I'll be coming out with another video, hopefully soon, if you guys are interested, showing how to use the GPG, um, GPG key, which is somewhat of a more advanced uh, version of Checksum. Um, not exactly version of Checksum, but it's a more advanced way of um, certifying that what you have is actually what you thought it was, um, or what you downloaded as the package that you believe it was. Um, but yeah, thanks again for watching, and see you guys again next time. Bye.